Whoa. Oh my gosh, we're already getting Christmas gifts? I'm struggling with my body too, 100%. I am. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my vlog channel. Happy Monday. <sighs> I'm about to work out. I'm wearing my little Fabletics today. And I'll do a little further explanation of kind of like what's going on, but I actually got a new trainer, and I will share more, but I'm about to meet with her on Zoom here in a little bit. She's kind of like virtually training me, and so we're gonna start our first session today. Working from home, or gosh, working out from home has been really frustrating. We don't have gyms open here, so I'm really struggling. Like I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of why I stopped posting like fitness content because I'm really struggling and trying to figure out what to do with no gyms and just my body and confidence and getting back into rhythm. So her name is Maxine. She's incredible. I worked with her actually like a year ago or two years ago. She's amazing. So I can't wait for you guys to meet her and I'm gonna share the journey with you guys of like working with her, what I'm learning, how it's improving my body and just my overall health and mental health and the way I see myself and food and all that stuff. So I'll have her information linked down below but she's amazing. So we're about to hop on zoom and she's gonna do a workout with me now again My toe is still injured. So I told her I'm like, please no jumping nothing like too crazy So we're gonna do I think more like stationary workouts and she's gonna show me how to do it all on zoom So let's see what she has for me today slightly flow off the ground for me so okay. we're gonna start doing that high plank position. Fingers are gonna be spread out nice and wide for me. We're gonna go ahead and take that leg up off the ground. We're gonna slowly lower our body towards the mat, okay? Nice, roll up, back to that high plank position. Go ahead and bring those elbows back, slowly lower in control. a workout and it was so good like we did it like via zoom and it was all arms today and abs because my toe is still healing if you saw my previous vlog I injured my pinky toe it sounds so stupid it's like oh her little pinky toes hurt she can't do anything but it really does affect my walking and workout so I'm trying to just let that heal today we did arms and abs and I feel the burn in like 50 minutes I burned about 300 calories with her which is great like it she did all these like slow movements and I was like oh my gosh like I was dying it's definitely a new type of training I've never done before and the reason why we started working together is as I said earlier is that there's no gyms open I've been really struggling with my weight and my body overall and just food ever since living from home 24 7 quarantine no gyms you know I used to kind of have like work with trainers for fun at Equinox ever since all that kind of got stripped away from me and just being at home a lot more I've been like I've been emotional eating bored eating so I really feel like I'm just not a hundred percent confident with my body right now and that's kind of why I stopped making um like fitness content because I was like I need to figure out what's going on with me first so I wanted just to come on here and just be real and honest that like I'm struggling with my body too, 100%, I am. And so I wanted to share with you guys kind of my journey of working with this trainer. We're gonna work together for the next like eight weeks. Um, I'm just not 100% where I wanna be. I love to work out, I love to feel good, I love eating clean, but I feel like I just kind of lost it. I lost track of it, I lost my goal. I didn't feel like I was really having like a purpose with it and I was just doing it just to doing it. And then beating myself up if I didn't do great, if I didn't work out, if I didn't eat healthy. And that just got really unhealthy. And so she actually reached out to me because we worked together last year and she's just an amazing person like so fun to work with so I'm excited to show you guys just kind of my journey with her kind of working with her a little bit virtually and just overall how she's helped me so uh, today was the first day working with her today's Monday September 21st so we'll see but uh yeah 
I'm just pumped to share you with you guys this journey and let you know like I'm kind of struggling with my body so there's that. All right, here's today's lunch. So I did avocado, grilled chicken, yellow squash, tomatoes, and spinach and then I just drizzled a little bit of this. This is from Trader Joe's. It's super, super good. I The recommendation that my new trainer said is she always wants me to have um, some fat, some protein, and some greens and like fiber. So um, I probably could have done maybe a little bit more fiber, but I think this is delicious and quick to make. Okay, so I am now getting ready for the day. I'm gonna do my makeup. Oh my gosh, I showed my foundation has been like dripping this entire time. Whenever I like rush around, I just throw my products everywhere and they're just all sitting on my desk like wide open and they get like so messy. Okay, so uh, for today's makeup, I have to do a brand deal today. So I have to shoot for that. Normally I would have my assistant come and help me shoot, but she was not free today. So I will just be trying to do um, something with my tripod. For today's makeup, again, I've been, I've been using this foundation. I'll have the products linked down below. I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender really quickly. And speaking of beauty blender, I really need a new one. <laughs> um, I'm not, again, a normally like a huge foundation person, but it's been nice to just see the difference foundation makes. Again, this is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. I really, really like this foundation. It was sent to me in PR and I tried it out and I was like, oh, whoa. It's actually very, very good. And y'all will see the difference it makes. Like it really just evens everything out, which obviously foundation's supposed to do that. If it doesn't, you're using the wrong foundation. It's like, boom, wow. Already it makes such a difference. Also, the music you're hearing in the background, you're probably like, what the freak are you listening to? Um, my friend Sarah Elson, she sent me this playlist and um, it was all about, it's from this guy, William Augusto, and he makes music, like instrumental music, so you can like pray or journal or worship or just like sing to yourself or whatever, just like background stuff, but it's all like spirit-filled music. Like it's Christian music, you can pray to it. Like when I'm journaling and I don't wanna be distracted by like, there's this fuzz on me, gosh. When I'm journaling and I don't want to be distracted, I'll put this music on or I like this morning when I was just trying to have a nice calm morning, as I'm drinking my coffee and like getting stuff done, like I had this on in the background and it just really like, I don't know what it is. I mean, the music must be like anointed, but it just makes me feel like I'm in God's presence and I just love it. In the morning, it makes me just be like, thank you, Jesus. Like I just worship you, Father, like stuff like that. I know it sounds crazy, but it actually is just so anointed and a great reminder. So I'll have it linked down below if you guys want to follow this artist or if you want to follow me on Spotify, you can do so. Thanks to my friend Sarah for recommending him to me. I've been trying to do this like new contour where like I do it thinner and then I do like a ball at the top. Y'all see what I mean? I saw it on TikTok and I was like, I just want to try this. TikTok is wild, y'all. It's a wild app. Are y'all on TikTok? If so, let me know. You can follow mine. It's linked down below. And like, I also naturally have freckles on my nose, so I like to add them back. So I'm gonna take the Benefit Precisely My Brow pencil. Also, I need to get my eyebrows microbladed again. They have they look horrible already again. Um, so I just kinda like tap some of my freckles back on because they get really hidden with the concealer and I don't like that. I like having my little freckles show. I don't like the way this foundation looks on my neck though. Like it does look a little cakey and patchy. This is from Hourglass. It's their Soft Focus Setting Spray. I take this small one from Becca Champagne Pop. I apply a little bit on my nose. Now I gotta deal with these eyebrows. So kind of some of the products I've been using for my brows, which there's some awesome new ones I've been using. First, I still use my um, Benefit Precisely My Brow one. Then I have this brow pencil from Benefit. It's called Brow Micro Filling Pen. It has these like little, um, you guys can see, like that, yep. I will use it at the front of my brows because it's supposed to look, look like little hairs. So I'll kind of just like go up. I'm also so bad at my brows. They're like my least favorite thing to do. That's why I love microblading. 
Also what I like to do is I like to just trim them every now and then because they're like a little bit outgrown right now. Overgrown, so I'll just like go through and just trim them every now and then. Ugh, my left eyebrow is the worst. Is I take the brow powder filler from It Cosmetics. I've been loving this product alone and on top of products, but alone, like if you just wanna have like a super natural quick thing or say you already have like really full, full brows already, this product is amazing for that. And they like really stay in place. Next thing I'm gonna do is mascara. This is the one I've been using is the Urban Decay Lash Freak One. This one's been one of my go-tos for probably the past month, two months. Okay, so I keep my eyes pretty natural. I don't put any eyeshadow on or anything of that sort. The last step I'm gonna do is this lip gloss. I've been loving this lip gloss. This is the Lancome Juicy Tubes. Mine's in the shade Fig Hit, which is a weird name. But these stay really long and they're super, they're pretty sticky, I'm not gonna lie. That's why they stay pretty long. But I've been loving them. These are my two favorite ones, just the clear one and this one right here. So I love just kind of like neutral. And then also what I like to do is I just take my hourglass setting powder and I take this pad from Laura Mercier and I'll just kind of like pat around the T-zone because I do tend to get a little bit oily there uh, throughout the day. And that is my makeup. I can do this really, really fast. As I'm explaining to you guys, yeah, it might take a while, but I can do this pretty fast. So that's everything. Products will be linked down below. And now I gotta go work on a brand deal. <laughs> okay, so I finished doing my brand deal. I'm really proud of myself. I got some packages. So I'm gonna unlock. Unlocks? No, I'm actually going to unbox these. So I got one from a friend. It's Generation Distinct. Oh my gosh, how cool. Coffee, I love that. Coffee from Uganda, which is so cool. See, my friend owns this company. A little like flag, which is super cute. My friend's book, Hannah uh, Gronowski, Generation Distinct, discover the wrong you were born to make right. How awesome, can't wait to read this. Love that, so proud of her for writing a book. All right, next, this is pretty heavy. Oh, speaking of Year of the Bible, this is my friend Nick's company. It's like a Christian ministry. This changed my life, like really. Oh my gosh, wait, okay, here it is. Leader check-in, um, some awesome books. Oh my gosh, yes, a moleskin. I'm a big journaler, so these are awesome. Set Jesus Changes Everything by Nick Hall, whom I know Nick Hall. He leads this as well. Janine, you know, you know I've always got your back, cheering you on in your journey. He will keep guiding you, make space for him. Hands open, surrendered, eyes dependent, knees down, prayfully connected, see you in October, Nick Brandt. Oh, that's so sweet. And the last thing I'm really pumped about is the book of Psalms. It's from this company called Alabaster. Maybe you guys have seen the ads. They like make the Bible like beautiful. Like they're, the way they design these Bibles is like insane, so. Lots of new books, you guys. How beautiful is that oh my gosh love that okay so excited okay the last one i have today i have no idea what this is whoa oh my gosh we're already getting christmas gifts christmas tea from this company called Vodum. i think that's how you pronounce it Vodum teas there's another one down here at the bottom my parents would love this maybe i should bring this back to them chai tea so cool and the packaging is beautiful so it it comes like this but i'm assuming i need like a tea bag or something Thank you guys for all the packages today. Appreciate it. Okay, now I'm going to go do something that is a surprise. You guys will know around beginning of October. It's a little surprise thing that I'm gonna go work on. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back. But tonight I have to pack for Dallas since I'm heading home tomorrow for a week. All right, I'm back home from the little secret project. I'm starving. It is 8.27. I haven't made any dinner. I haven't packed. It's gonna be a late night. So I'm gonna just cook really quickly, show you guys what I'm making. I need to use up some of my groceries before I go. So I need to, what am I gonna make? What am I gonna make? Stay tuned. I gotta figure this out. Here is tonight's dinner. I did broccoli, Brussels sprouts, chicken, and sweet potatoes. 
So you just throw these both in the oven on like 420 degrees, put in there for like 30 minutes, press the spots in the pan, then like 10 minutes in maybe, five minutes in, balsamic vinegar, the chicken I just microwaved, I got it from Trader Joe's. And I'm drinking lemon water, apple cider vinegar. And I tried to not eat after like nine, but today was a little bit of a later day, so it's 9.19. I'm gonna be up late packing tonight. So I'm hungry. I hope you guys tried this out. It's delicious, super easy to make, and it's one of my go-to favorite meals. Okay, I am all packed up, ready to go to Dallas. I always fly Southwest because I actually love the fact that they let you like social distance on the plane, like there's like no in between people. So that's really nice. I like that they're actually taking precautions. Like I don't think American Airlines or United are doing that. So I'd be wary of those flights. Um, So I'm pumped, I'm packed, excited to see my fam, excited to just have some, um, cool things I'm doing there, so stay tuned for that. And that's the end of today's vlog. I know this, I know this was kind of like random and all over the place, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in Dallas. I'm excited to see my fam. See you guys. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye, guys.